Hello everyone. So already we have discussed uh, the microview solid state devices. So from that varactor diode as well as pin diode we have completed in the last lecture. So today uh, we are continue with the gun diode. So let us see the gun diode. So these are the previous points we have covered. So let us see with the gun diode. So gun diodes, these are nothing but the transfer electron devices, TED, which is handle the frequency range between 1 uh, and 100 gigahertz. Or if it is made up of the gallium arsenide gun diodes, then it will handle up to 200 gigahertz and gallium nitride, which is can reach up to the 3 tetrahertz. So these are basic things we already have seen. Also we have discussed uh, the principle of the gun diode. So it consists of the slice with a buffer layer between the active layer and substrate which is mounted uh, in any of the number of the packages depending upon on the manufacturer. the frequency and the power level. So let us see the next. So the construction. So here heavily doped <coughs> N plus material is used. So the device is mounted on the conducting base to which a wire connection is made. Then also it is protected with the heat sink because a uh, heavily doped N plus material will uh, conduct itself over here so that there is a heat sink is required and the terminals for the connection which are uh, nothing but the gold connections they are deposited onto the top of the surface. So gun diodes are fabricated from a single piece of the N type semiconductor. <clears throat> the most common material are gallium, arsenide then gallium arsenide and indium phosphide also the material includes GE, CDT, ENAS, ENSP, ZNSC so see this is nothing but the epitaxial GAAS that is gallium arsenide gun slice so see here the gold wire which is used to contact purpose this is nothing but the anode which is deposited on that the gold alloy contact and this gold alloy contact which is nothing but the n plus substrate over that that layer is placed and here the most important that is active n layer is here so again the substrate base is used then heat sink is provided and from that the another terminal that is known as the cathode. So here actual that the uh, construction of the gun diode is shown. So which is in the in nothing but the 5.54 mm. So here gold plated molybdenum stub is at the bottom. So over that epitaxial gallium arsenide device with SN dot contact is presented where SN dot contact is nothing but the gold wire bound to that the line and here which is covered in the ceramic space means these whole assembly inside that the ceramic space and at the top there is a one cap so this is nothing but the whole assembly of that the gun diode so see here the gun diode is shown so the center area of the device is nothing but the active region and this region is also less heavily doped and this means that virtual all the voltage placed across the device appear across this region. So only of N type material there is a no PN junction okay and in fact it is not a true diode because in a true diode there is a P type and N type material and there is a PN junction is formed. So let us see the operation of the gun diode. 
when voltage is placed across this device the most of the voltage appears across the inner active region okay so as this a particular thin this means that voltage gradient that exists in the region is extremely high because the n plus material is there so it is found that when the voltage across the active region reaches a certain point a curtain is uh, sorry current is initiated and the travels across the active region okay means first of all there is a no any external supply at that time there is a no any operation but when we are placing that gun diode in the voltage contact so that inner active region will activate and it will form the gradient that exists okay so at a certain point uh, the current start flowing from that the device so during the time when the current pulse is moving across the active region the potential gradient falls okay so preventing any further pulses uh, from forming only when the pulses has reached the far side of the active region the potential gradient will rise allowing the next pulse to be <coughs> created so see here so it will actually on the based from the negative resistance region so it can seem that the time taken for the current pulse to travel from active region largely determines the rate at which the current pulses are generated and hence it will determine the frequency of the operation okay so it is clear that when we want to uh, want that the frequency of operation then there is a current pulse to travel to the active region that rate at which the current pulses are generated that are taken as a frequency of operation so for a normal diode the current increases with voltage although the relationship is not linear we know that ordinary diode having the non linear relationship on the other hand the current for a gun diode starts to increase and once a certain voltage has been reached it start to fall before rising again so the region where it falls is known as the negative resistance region and this is the region why it oscillates okay so oscillation means nothing but the the formation or the generation of the signal so let us see the advantages of gun diode so it has much lower noise as compared to the impact diodes so gun amplifiers are capable of broad band operation so whenever there is a broad band then gun amplifiers are capable to handle the operation higher peak to valley ratio in its negative resistance characteristics and it also high fundamental frequency of operation increased the efficiency then these gun diodes are used in the oscillators as low and medium power oscillators in microwave receivers and the instruments then these type of the gun diodes also work as a pump source in parametric amplifier a high power gun oscillators are used as a power output oscillators which generate 250 to 2000 milliwatt power also this type of the gun diode are used in a frequency modulator in low power transmitters so in policy and the continuous wave doppler radar burglar alarms aircraft raid or climb indicator these are the again such applications where the gun diodes are used so yttrium ir garnet that is yg turned a gun voltage control oscillators for instrumentation amplifiers so vcos so we can say that gun diodes are also known as transferred electronic device that is td so gun diodes are basically used for the high frequency oscillations means whenever we want the radio frequency generate generator then we can use as a gun diode so
So let us see the next TED device that is impact diode. So there is a wide variety of the solid state diodes and the transistors have been developed for the microwave use. So impact ionization avalanche transit time. So that is nothing but the impact diode. So what is the function of this impact diode? So these type of the diodes are used as a microwave oscillators. So these are used to produce carrier signals for microwave transmission systems. Okay, means whenever we are transmitting microwave signal at that time, at the transmitter side, it will work as a carrier signal. Impact can operate from a few gigahertz to a few hundred gigahertz. So that is from 1 to 300 gigahertz. So impact avalanche and transit time diode also called a avalanche transit time diodes. So whenever multi-layer diodes of several different types used to generate the microwave power. So in contrast uh, to other devices in this class, the negative resistance of avalanche and transit time diodes appears only at the super high frequencies okay so avalanche and transit time diodes can be made up of from the structure p plus n i n plus pi or p i n p n p plus minus n and p minus n plus types material so let us see the principle of operation. So negative resistance is achieved by creating a delay of 180 phase shift between the voltage and current. So that delay is achieved in the generating and avalanche current multiplication as well as the transit time through the material. So called avalanche transit time devices. So avalanche is generated by carrier Impact ionization TT is due to the drift in high field domain presence of PN junction diode is reverse biased so high field is applied of the order 400 kilowatt per centimeter so two modes of Avalanche transit time, there is one is the impact ionization, which is efficiency having 5 to 10 percent, and another is the trapped plasma, which is having efficiency 20 to 60 percent. So, let us see impact diode operation. The diode is operated in reverse bias, linear breakdown, and both the N and N region are completely depleted. So, because of the difference in doping between the drift region and avalanche region, the electric field is highly picked up in the avalanche region. So, see here in this avalanche region and nearly flat in the <coughs> drift region. So here avalanche region and drift region is shown. So this is the doping concentration. This is the electric field. So in operation avalanche breakdown occurs at the point of highest electric field and this generates a large number of whole electron pairs by impact ionization. So the holes are swept into the cathode, but the electrons travel across the drift region towards anode. As the drift, they induce image charges on the anode, giving rise to a displacement current in the external circuit half that is 180 degree out of phase with nearly sinusoidal voltage waveform. Okay, so holes are swept into the cathode. An electron travels up to the drift region towards the anode.
so these are the build up of uh, microwave oscillations so thermal voltage as well as the induced rock current is shown in this graph so it will shows the build up of microwave oscillator in the diode current and voltage when the diode is embedded in a resonant cavity and bias at the breakdown this is the both the graphs we have completed sorry combined and it shows the close up current and voltage so current and voltage wave form after oscillations have stabilized so from this figure it is clear that current is 180 degree out of phase with the voltage so this represent the negative ac resistance so let us see the operation so impact diode is operated under the reverse bias condition this is the first thing then these are set to that avalanche breakdown occurs so this occurs in the region very close to the p plus region that is heavily doped that's why it is known as the p plus the electric field at the p n junction is very high because the voltage appears across a very narrow gap creating a high potential gradients under these circumstances any carriers are accelerated very quickly so as a result they collide with the crystal lattice and three other carriers so these newly filled carriers are similar accelerated and collide with the crystal lattice uh, freeing more carriers okay so what happened there is a collision between the crystal lattice and three other carriers so this process gives the rise to what the terminal avalanche breakdown so as the number of carriers multiplies very quickly for this type of the breakdown only occurs when a certain voltage is applied to the junction below this the potential does not accelerate the carrier so once the carrier have been generated the device realize that negative resistance to generate the sustain and oscillation so the effect does not occur in the device at bc but the instead here is it is an ac effect that is brought about by phase differences so that are seen at the frequency of operation when an ac signal is applied the current peaks are found to be 180 degrees out of phase with the voltage so this result from two delays which occur in the device injection delay and the transit time delay as the current carries migrate or drift across the device so applied voltage to the impact diode has a mean value that means the diode is on the verge of avalanche breakdown so voltage varies as a sine wave but a generation of the carrier does not occur so in mind the expected that it would occur at the peak voltage so this arise because the generation of the carriers it not only the function of electric field but the number of carriers already in existence so the electric field increases so that the number of carriers so then even after the field has reached its peak the number of carriers still continues to grow as a result of the number of carriers already in existence so this continues until the field fall to below a critical value when the number of carriers starts to fall <laughs> as the result of this effect there is a phase lag so that the current is about 90 degree behind the voltage so this is known as the injection phase delay so whenever the electrons move across the n plus region an external current is seen and this occurs in a peak resulting in a repetitive wave so the oscillation starts 
uh, let us see the advantages of impact diode so it is high power capability these are based on silicon are most suitable for milli meter wave power it provides the potential reliable and compact so inexpensive then moderate efficient microwave power sources so like the advantage there are some disadvantage of the impact diode it is very noisy because avalanche is noisy process so tuning range is not good as gun diode because gun diode tuning process is up to 3 tetrahertz so here due to this avalanche noise noise figure is 30 db are not as good as crystal gun twt amplifier so these are related to the impact diode so impact ionization transit time diode so here we have completed that gun diode operation as well as the impact diode operation so thank you